In this video, I'll show the new features in the OpenBridge Modeler Connect Edition. Shear starts on steel girders and field splices on steel girders are um, shown separately in YouTube videos and that are available on Bentley OpenBridge YouTube channels. The other two are materials in wizard and built up steel girder option in wizard that these two will be covered in this video. In the OpenBridge modeler, if we come into um, home button, there we have the bridge wizard. So now we will um, model a bridge using this bridge wizard. Here we can see the geometry and also here we can see the newly added uh, feature is the materials. So geometry first is um, we provide the bridge name and then there is the bridge type. It can be bridge slab, precast or reinforced concrete steel girder, steel beam slab steel girders, cast in place concrete uh, box and reinforced concrete slabs. Let's say we select beam slab. Alignment, we can have uh, existing alignment or we can have uh, create a new alignment. So bridge start location we just can give or we can just leave it. Deck template is uh, we can leave it here or we can select from our template. And then we have a spans. Let's say here is uh, by default we can see 25 so this was the deck template and then here we can see uh, first span 25 meter we have then two spans each span is 30 meter and then the last span is 20 meter and then here we can see um, the support is Q angle is zero degree uh, beam um, let's say we have five beams at two meter spacing then we have beam template we can also again select their abutment template peer template and then barriers so we can select we can we can say okay and that will be implemented before that we can go to our newly added feature is the materials so these materials are the new features here so what we can see here usually that's our blank but if we select that one so it's our uh, material it it is in our material library so if you want to define any material uh, beforehand so what we need to do you need to go to utilities and from there you need to define in the libraries and once it is defined there then actually you come into the deck let's say here in the deck you can go there and in the concrete steel and miscellaneous in the concrete these are like C, C35, C44, uh, 45 grade or C40, C50 grade or you can define your own grade. Let's say we select C40, C50. Barrier, traffic barrier. So again, traffic barrier, we can select in traffic uh, traffic barrier what sort of, if it is a concrete, we can select the concrete girders, um, concrete um, um, grade from here. Or, or if it's a, um, if it's a steel element we use, we can select again steel one. So usually concrete. So we say, let's say C50, C40, 50 then um, we have like beam and beam again if it is steel or concrete it depends on if it is concrete we can select from here if it is steel we can select from here so let's say c40 c50 or c50 c60 now we have here the bearing uh, bearing um, setup so bearing setups are grout pad and then bearing and the bearing seat so bearing setups if we go there usually it's in the miscellaneous so we need to select from here or if we need anything we need we can create in the in our library so from there we can come here and select our own uh, bearing type let's say here is the multi rotational bearing or something like this and then again we come back here the bearing seats we can we can select bearing seats like okay new print bearing pet so 
same way grout pad bearing pad we select the same way we have all these elements here like cap column footing pile so let's say all of them are concrete so if we go there we can again select in concrete um, column here again in concrete uh, footing again in concrete c40 40 50 uh, pile it could be concrete or steel if it is in concrete then c40 50 or if we go in steel then we can select whatever the grade we require if it's if it's uh, in 500 or whatever it is we can we can select from here and then abutment cap footing piles again we can select from here uh, and those are this so those are the materials again it's coming from there and let's say it is done um, go here and then we say yes okay So we can see this uh, bridge model is done here. Uh, what we can do, we can have a look. Let's say the bearing. We can see here this is the barrier, and barrier. We go into the properties to check. So this is the F shape barrier, and then we have the barrier material rolled wide flange sections. Let's have a look. The another one is abutment. You can see cap material, uh, footing material, pile material. You can see pier here. You can see all those materials are defined. So, and let's see here. This is the girder C4050. So all materials are defined here. Now, if we wanted new materials or some other materials, I, as I said, we can come into the utilities and from there we can define our material here as we require and then we go and come back into there and change. Now we'll see the built up steel girder option in the wizard in OpenBridge Modeler Connect Edition. In the open bridge modeler in the home button in the bridge wizard now again we can we can go into the beam slab steel girder and here we can see the beam spacing and that's the beam template which is the uh, which is the sections standard sections uh, and here is the built up beam so built up beam that is we see depth thickness of web and width and thickness of flanges so what we can see from here is only one flange that means the dimension of flange width and thickness is um, constant assuming that two flanges are same so let's say depth is 1600 thickness is 12.7 width is 300 and thickness is 12.7 and we just leave all others as they are and let's have a look so we can see here the beam is modeled with as the with the steel girders so what we can do we can come into the analysis and reporting dynamic section We'll create a dynamic section. Now we can see the girders are here. What we can do, we can quickly check the dimensions. So let's say this one. As you can remember, we have given 300. So that is the 300. Also, I can check the web height and we can remember that was 1600 so the girders are the with the exact dimensions that we have provided